$200 million super yacht Ecstasy. The introduction of the magnificent motor yacht Ecstasy marked a number of significant turning points in the super yacht market. This area has been designed to accommodate a diverse range of cutting edge amenities. Ecstasy has a powerful and modern signature on the outside with a high bow for cutting through the waves. The difficulty of combining the hull form required for speeds of more than 30 knots with a sleek appearance acceptable for a yacht of this pace was effectively met. The helicopter hangar in the bow is totally concealed, leaving no trace of the horizontal sliding hatch both technically and stylistically. The doors open in two halves to port and starboard thanks to a seam in the boat's middle line. Before we start, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Also, smash the like button to help us with our YouTube algorithm. Without any further delay, let us start. Ecstasy is a luxury yacht, which was the largest feed ship built at the time of her launch. She was sold to Alcher Fiaz by yacht brokers. Merle Wood in June 2009 from her former owner, Russian Olgerich Roman Abramovich. Four MTU engines and a General Electric LM2500 gas turbine power this magnificent beast. This gives her a total of 43,000 horsepower. She has a top speed of 35 knots and a length of 282 feet. The Ecstasy was built in the Royal Van Lent shipyard with a dead weight of 585 metric tons. The boat is entirely composed of steel and resembles a luxury liner more than a yacht. Terence Distal and Devout Naval Architects collaborated on her exterior design, with Distal also designing the yacht's Asian-style interior. The project was overseen by David Waite Wright, a senior designer for Distales. The yacht went on to win other interior design accolades later on. In her astonishing 40-year career, super yacht designer Terence Distale has designed more than 100 yachts, including more than 50 super yachts over 45 metres. Terry Distale spent several years as a design assistant to the late famed super yacht designer John Bannenberg before launching Terence Distale Designs in 1973. Distale's interior design style is diverse and he frequently adheres to the motto of beach house, not penthouse. His loves include fishing and his classic Jaguar XK120. He is known for his colourful attitude and is considered by many to be the original rock star designer. Hence, many of the world's largest and most famous super yachts have been designed by Terry Distal, including Roman Abramovich's 165-metre Eclipse. The interiors of Abramovich's former 115-metre super yacht, Polaris, Microsoft co-founder Paul Allen's 92.4-metre, Tatouche, the interior design and exterior styling of the 140-metre Al Salamar, the interior design for the 90-metre Ice X Air, and of course, Abramovich's former 86-metre super yacht, Ecstasy's external interior design. Ecstasy has a total capacity for 14 passengers divided into six rooms. She can house two helicopters, one on the aft deck and one on the foredeck hangar. She also owns a 9.5-metre Vical limousine tender, a 9-metre Scorpion Sports rib, a 6-metre Pasco rib, six Sea-Doo RXP 225 RS Sea-Doo's two-person capacity, and four Seabob Kayago F7. She tows a variety of towables, including water skis, wakeboards, kneeboard, wake snake, donuts, kayaks, paddle boats, windsurfers, and even seven Cannondale mountain bikes are amongst the items on display. The boat was sold by Abramovich to the Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi in 2009. H.H. Mohammed bin Zayn Al Nayan is the ruler of the United Arab Emirates. He is the son of Abu Dhabi's Amur, Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nayan. His father, the Emir of Abu Dhabi, owns the world's largest yacht, Azam, which belongs to the Abu Dhabi royal family. The boat is not owned by US heiress Sonia Zuckerman, contrary to popular belief. Ecstasy was sold to the Crown Prince of Pakistani millionaire Alshair Fiyaz in 2014. Things do not stop here as there is much more to this yacht. One of the largest inland lagoons in the Caribbean's West Indies is Simpson Bay Lagoon. It's on the Caribbean Isle of St. Martin. The lagoon flows across the middle of the island, dividing the French and Dutch half. The lagoon contains two small islands. The bigger Grand Inlet, also known as Explorers Island, is located in the French district of St. Martin, while the smaller Little Key is located on the Dutch side in St. Martin. 
A short channel in the northwest flows into Bay Nettle in St. Martin, and another small channel in the southeast flows into Simpson Bay in St. Martin, connecting the lagoon to the Caribbean Sea. The Public Works Office erected the Simpson Bay Bridge in 1950, employing stone and cement building techniques as well as the same characteristic stone mortar style with arches as seen at Fresh Pond and East Phillipsburg. Ecstasy collided with the Simpson Bay Bridge in St. Martin on December 15, 2019. The hull of the yacht was damaged just a little, but a small operation room attached to the bridge was wrecked and plummeted into the bay. This incident was videotaped and shared on Reddit. The vessel's speed was assessed to be less than three knots. According to the St. Martin Daily Herald, this isn't the first time the booth has been harmed by arriving ships. The yacht was blown off course due to adverse current and wind conditions in this case. The operator was able to flee the booth in time and neither the bridge nor the controls were seriously damaged. On Monday, December 16, the bridge reopened to the public. That is all for today, folks. We hope you enjoyed and we will see you soon with another amazing video.